We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. But that's my life. It has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Naim, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the place. Are you the one? Day four in the House of Champions. After yesterday's win during the controversial tractor pull challenge, Team Top Notch awakes in the mansion for the first time. And despite the more luxurious sleeping conditions, a few top notchers are already up at the crack of dawn. It's comfortable. I feel like I'm at home you know, with all the guys and everybody. Feels like I'm at home, having a good time. Got the pool. It's all good. Um, I like the sleeping on a mattress for once, and uh, I like the fridge. We have fridge; it's pretty good. While some top notchers get a head start on their chores, others take the opportunity to catch up on some much-needed beauty sleep. It's a carefree morning for the boys at the House of Champions. Too bad the same can't be said for the players over at the Dome, where Team Umbro's being subjected to an early morning thrashing by coach Steve Najar. Oh, good game, Johnny. Oh, Johnny came in last. Oh, here's a trophy, but don't cry. It's okay. We're going to hand everything over to Mr. Hall, and you know what? He's going to come and watch you boys play, and you guys don't perform, and he sees it. He goes, these guys are not at the same level every game, game out. And that's what they're looking for, consistency. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to say, Coach Busby, Coach Bassam, get rid of him, get rid of him, get rid of him, get rid of him. Because I just heard some of you boys were over there having slushies, having ice cream, having candies, having chocolate bars. Do you guys know you got to perform today? Do you know what that sugar is going to do to you boys today? It's going to mess you up. You gotta watch what you eat. It's what you eat, it's how you perform. You guys are going backwards. As Team Umbro joins Team Top Notch for breakfast, one player stays behind to have a word with Coach Busby. Nick Patteris informs Coach Busby that unlike their previous nights in the House of Champions, the Dome doesn't have any healthy food options for the boys. No, it's a, you know what, that's, that, that's the kind of input I'm, I'm looking for, the leadership that I'm looking for to be able to, to, to speak on, on those, on those, uh, on those issues, right? Nick has, has been very mature enough to pull me aside and say, Coach, you know what the reality was? There was no, I mean, the nights we were in the house, we don't know, but there was food available and snacks, and, and last night there wasn't. And I think that's, that is, again, the big picture, Nick, is what we need to get at. If that is the kind of leadership you need to come and say, and I do appreciate you pull me aside now, all right, and uh, set in the record straight. All right, son, thank you. The players from both teams finish eating and head back to dress for practice, except for one. Sean Robertson injured his ankle two days ago and will have to sit out of today's practice. Like I have to go back tomorrow for the doctors, and then I don't know where I'd go from there. It's better today. It's it's still that ligament damage, but it's swollen down and and it's I can put weight on it. Yeah. With Coach Ray Hall arriving later today from Everton, Sean will have some tough choices to make. Should he play through the injury and risk greater damage, or bow out of the competition and wait until next year? So far, the road to Everton has been a roller coaster. 36 players were selected from across the nation to be represented at the House of Champions. From these 36 players, two teams were formed to compete against one another, Team Top Notch under the supervision of Coach Bassam and Team Umbro under the direction of Coach Busby. 
After the first day's embarrassing 6-1 loss to Coach Busby and Team Umbro, Team Top Notch found themselves sleeping in the Oz Dome, while the boys of Umbro earned themselves a night at the House of Champions with all its amenities. I think my team is going to win again. Despite playing much better in their second matchup, Coach Bassam and Team Umbro lost again to Busby and Team Top Notch 2-0. It looked like Umbro was destined to spend all of their time in the Oz Dome until a unique side challenge swung their luck. After a controversial tractor pull contest, Team Umbro usurped Top Notch as the current House of Champion residents. Even the coaches got in on the action. Today's game is an important one for Team Umbro as they have yet to beat Team Top Notch on the pitch. We've been practicing really hard, and like every every game and like challenge, we're getting better and better. I'm gonna do everything I can, like everything in my power. I want to stay. Coach Bassam and Coach Busby are aware of what's at stake and each take a unique approach to motivating their players. You know, it's always difficult now because obviously you come to see some of the players and you do you bond with them, get to know them as, as players and not just uh, you know your kids running around as people, young men that you're helping um, achieve their dream. I'm a coach, I'm an educator, I'm a leader, I'm a, uh, a disciplinary person, I'm an, uh, mainly an educator in, in every corner of the game or from in all the aspects in the game, so I shouldn't be getting close to any of the players. Okay, leader full over. Yeah, very good, very good. One, two, three, four, five. Don't set the ball, don't set. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Up the, up the, ready, come on, leader. Yeah. I don't want to sleep. Good? So you're getting comfortable. Yeah, throw and go. To the right. Yeah. Hey, come on, come on, to the right. You're tackle which go keeper. What's all about, you know, get a chance to live and sleep in a soccer pitch. I don't think you really truly appreciate this until you're probably back home, maybe a year, a couple years from now. All right, gentlemen, I don't want to sleep. Good? So you're getting comfortable. So the irony is, although each and every one of you is working towards an individual goal to be the one, you need each other to get there. A lot of female fans around the last couple of days. I feel pretty good. You're a big timer now, is that right? You want to be traded? Would you be? Tra would you want to go to Team Umbro? Yes. Really. It doesn't matter how good you think you are, it only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the player. Are you the one? Keeping track of 36 teenage boys is no easy feat. Are these washed? And where's, where's, your, where's your umbrella jacket? Did you guys talk? And as coach Steve Najar is finding out, keeping them all happy is something completely different. What is it? Huh? It's you. Well, the strikers aren't really scoring goals. They're missing chances. We gotta get better and we gotta play possession and don't give up. And we gotta, you know, play out there like we played at the tryouts. That's really bugging you more than that. Right now. Yeah, the, the guys, they don't, always they're all screwing around and they don't only really focus. They're all talking, it's hard to sleep. And they're just having fun and they don't think about the game. 
I've told them a lot of times to focus on the game, and, but they're not going to listen to me. Would you, are you, are you proud to have teammates like this? No. No? No. You want to be traded? Would you be, tra would you want to go to Team Umbro? Yes. Really? Maybe you should go to Kot Basan and say you want to be traded to Team Umbro. What, the, what these boys are doing, that they're, they're letting you down. That they're not taking you serious. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what needs to be. As A.J. Gill contemplates his future with Team Top Notch, Steve Najjar and the rest of the coaches gather to discuss a serious matter from the previous night involving two of Team Umbro's players. Marco Evan, why are you here? Do you fashion yourselves as young men as supermodels or footballers? So why do you have girls which here, it's not your home, all right, you're here for a reason after 11 o'clock on premises. You guys are too busy looking at girls and trying to chat up girls at 11 o'clock at night when you're supposed to be in bed getting ready for the game next day to win. How old are you? 15. How old are you? 15. Right? Old enough to know right from wrong. First of all, boys, as you know, there'll be many temptations in life, but this should never stir you from your ultimate goal. Right? Your ultimate goal here, okay, was to get on the field and show your wares. Show what you can do to the staff and to Everton Football Club that you are the one. You will not be able to do that while you sit on the bench. And you will continue to sit on the bench until you prove to me that you've earned the right to step onto that field. You did not put in the work in the training sessions to show that you deserve to be on the field. That's where you'll stay until decision is made on your future. Are we clear? Thank you. Hey! How are you doing? I'm good. Are you being a good boy? Uh, yeah, I guess. What do you mean, I guess? I guess. I got into some trouble, but... You got into some trouble? What? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, me, and my f me and one of my friends there, we were sitting uh, between the dome and the kitchen, sort of. Uh-huh. And then these girls walked in and, yeah. You know, this is a uh, once in a life chance, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's up to you if you do it or not. Mm-hmm. Okay, sunny boy. Mm -hmm. uh, take care. Yeah. Oh, but, you uh, sleep in the dome? Yeah, we, so we slept in the dome for one night, but uh, we'll, we'll be back into the house tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. How do you know? Because our team demolished our, The first game, we beat them 9-0. Oh, yeah? The second game, we beat them 3-1, I think. Uh-huh. So they're getting a bit better, but you know, I still think we can take them on. Yeah. Uh... Yes, but I'm getting in uh, some trouble, but I, you'll see when the episodes come out. I, I heard with the girls. Oh, yes. Okay. Why would, why would that I... Is, that is, you're, you're being, you're also being recorded. Okay. Um, and videotaped. Okay. So, what are you doing? Nothing. Yeah, well, I'm trying to have fun. We'll see how it goes. And work hard. Uh, yeah. My hip's hurting a lot. It is? Yeah. Um, no, but there's been some guys getting in trouble. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, that'd be good. I've, I've stayed out of trouble though, you'll be proud of me. <laughs> Just have a quick announcement to make. Unfortunately, injury is a, is a part of any sport, and you just never know when it's going to happen. Sean Robinson hurt his ankle. Sean, it was great having you. I um, hope you have a speedy recovery when you head back home. All right, and uh, I'm just gonna leave the fellas just to, to say bye, and then we're gonna take you. Well, I'm disappointed because it's here. It's like the worst possible time to do it. But I've done this before, so I know how it feels. I, I see it as like a beginning, really. I just, I'll just do it and then get better for next year. I'll just wait till this recover and just train harder all year round until next soccer games.
gentlemen, this is a gentleman you've been working hard for and this is what you have to work hard for, starting right now. It doesn't matter how good you think you are, it only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the place. Are you the one? So far, day four at the House of Champions has been anything but smooth. Bad weather, dissension, you want to trade it? and injuries have left both teams with low morale. As an ominous storm front gathers, Team Top Notch prepares for today's game. Our, our team is, you know, it's really come together in the past you know, few days, and uh, we're just all we're finally working as a unit, you know. We're, we're, we've been talking as a team and everything, and we're all ready to win. After we know what we, what we can have, what we got here, food, TV, couches, everything, I don't think we're going to want to lose it. But before the game can get underway, a long-anticipated visitor makes his arrival. Gentlemen. I'd like to pass you gentlemen over to the boss now. This is Mr. Ray Hall, the head of the Academy of Everton. This is a gentleman you've been working hard for and this is who you have to work hard for. Starting right now, he is here. And I wanted to introduce you to him. Well, these are the kids that we pulled all over Canada. Come here and represent Everton. Hopefully one of them will be up to standards and, uh, and represent you and Everton well. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you because obviously without you there would be no show. Um, I don't know what the standard is, but I'm very excited to look at it. Uh, what I would say is during the course of the week, don't try and do anything that you're not capable of doing. Be yourselves, play with a smile on your face, and, and who knows where it will take you. Uh, I'm not sure I'm the boss, by the way. Uh, you're the boss. You're the ones that will look after yourself. You'll control your own destiny. And, uh, and again, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for you. Uh, you may get some kind of idea as to how passionate I am. I'm one of these very fortunate people who have spent their lives being paid for what is in effect their hobby. I get paid for doing this. How good's that? So I want to share some of that passion with you. I've worked at Everton for 17, 18 years now and worked with some of the, uh, some of the best players that, that we've had in our country one of whom you will know, Wayne Rooney, who came to us when he was eight years of age. Uh, I don't know. Do we have a Rooney here? Yeah. I was expecting every hand to go up then, Steve, but, but who yeah. knows? Yes. Uh, maybe in three or four days all the hands will go up. Yeah. Uh, let's hope. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to working with you and your coaches and, and, and enjoying the experience. Who knows where it will go? Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. With Coach Ray Hall's speech setting the tone, Coach Bassam and Team Top Notch come out strong. You know, our team was really ready, really pumped to play. It just looked like we wanted it more because we were dominating the whole game. But we played hard today because we've been practicing a lot. We scored two goals right after that. With an impressive 2-0 lead for Team Top Notch, the boys of Team Umbro are going to have to get their act together if they want to move to the House of Champions tonight. 
Unfortunately for Team Umbro, Mother Nature had other plans. After lightning was spotted, the officials made the decision to call the game over after only 20 minutes of play. With Team Top Notch up 2-1, they were declared the winners of the game, thus securing the House of Champions for the second night in a row. I've, uh, I've arrived today, I've looked at uh, some of the training sessions, and, and I think from my point of view now, uh, as with our discussions, uh, I think it's important that we start looking at, at trading a player now. Not a problem. I think um, Marco Curar should be able to do the, the job for you today, and so I'll make him available for Team Top Notch. Is this the same player that uh, had some issues yesterday? We've spoken with them. He's, it's been addressed. The punishment uh, has been set, and uh, I believe uh, he'll be able to do a good job and, and impress it. And, uh, I just felt pain shoot all here. I don't know what it is, but it hurts. Um, I broke my shin a couple years back. Um, yeah. Would Marcos be an advantage or a liability to Team Top Notch? Nevertheless, Ray Hall was impressed with what he saw on the pitch from both teams. Today's strong performances from the players will make it even harder for him and the other coaches to decide who will be sent home during the tomorrow's first round of cuts. They say you live once, so I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, I'm giving him pain. I was king of the streets, until they put me in chains. I got the heart of the game, you can a boss of the game. A temper time and again, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got prepared for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I damn the rat. If you're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Nobody can stop that, I damn the rat. If you're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Training day to sequel, money's the root of evil. Dying is guaranteed to live my life to free. Lord, I came from the ghetto, even murder with middle. If you heard it again, you see the reason my mental. Going through pain, if you insane, then we the same. The brother's side of the time is dark, it's only rain. I was born a poor boy, mama and four boys. Shack in the side of little room, mama can bring joy. So I turned corrupted and sold the evil. My soul, too much pain, I'm trying to get back. Home.